hello everyone and welcome back to another monthly budget video today i will be completing our monthly budget for july and guys we are in the first month of the third quarter can you believe it q2 is done so guys after every quarter we evaluate different things to see you know what we need to change or of course keep and we have some changes. Now, I'm gonna go over our goals and then I'll tell you about the actual changes for the month of July and in the coming month. So right now you are looking at the highlights page of my Plum Paper Planner for the month of July. Now, if you missed the video where I set up the budget stickers for July, I'll go ahead and link that video up above and you can go back and check it out. But we always have two goals and one of the goals is to make sure that we pay extra towards our tax debt and put something towards the savings challenge. And generally what I do, I wait till the end of the month to see what we have remaining and, you know, try to figure out how much we can, you know, snag from that remaining to put towards our quarterly savings challenge. And if you're not familiar with the quarterly savings challenge, I'll leave that video linked up as well. So those are two of our goals. And I put over here for the events, um, our son, he is on track to graduate in December, guys. And we are just super excited about that. And being that this is his last quarter, the fees are much higher, guys. It really is. And recently we received the tuition bill and it is a hefty bill, guys. So we have to make sure we get that paid in August. And so the bill is over $1,400. And one of the things that we're having to do as far as changes is make sure that we are able to put as much money as we can towards his tuition account. So, um, which leads me into the actual changes. Now we are going to stop extra towards our uh, savings. And so what I mean is, with our emergency saving fund, automatically $50 is transferred from our joint checking account to our joint um, household savings account. That's done at the end of the month. But what I've been doing is putting um, a little extra into the emergency fund and, you know, trying to, you know, round it off. But what we're going to do is just stick with the bare minimum um, or, you know, just a little bit above that. We are going to make sure that whatever we can you know snag from our household account we've got to put it toward our son's tuition because we want to make sure that you know we cover the fees in august and another thing is that we are going to stop putting money towards the vacation temporarily so we have already went on our vacation in the month of june and we had a wonderful time guys so right now we're going to pause that and put those funds into son's tuition so july august what you're going to see is hefty amounts in son's tuition saving fund and everything else will get its minimum and while i'm at the bill tracker another change is that we have 50 dollars that we incorporate into our monthly budgets as far as a buffer now i'm going to pause that as well so that those funds can be allocated to son's tuition now i'm thinking that this will last till uh, next month but when we get into september then all of those extra funds we've got to focus on the savings challenge so we have the quarterly savings challenge and if you're participating in the quarterly savings challenge you know that that fourth quarter is very hefty as far as the amount that needs to be saved and you don't have to wait till fourth quarter to start tackling those savings amounts so we're not going to actually wait but what we're having to do is just make sure that son's tuition is taken care of and then in september going through the end of the year we're going to be hammering at the savings challenge because we do want to meet that goal and it's just going to be you know a little different for q3 um and you know trying to finish out strong guys that's what we're trying to do finish the year out strong so that is it guys as far as those changes so what i'm going to go ahead and do is jump right into completing our monthly budget for july 
All right, guys, so this is the July monthly budget. I am using the full sticker sheet here. And again, any stickers that you have seen, um, I do have my link down below in the description box to my Etsy shop. And I also have the August budget stickers that are available as well. And I shared that with you guys during the July budget sticker setup. So this month is a bonus month for hubs. And it is also an extra check for me. So Sun's tuition should get a hefty amount towards it. So we are very excited for that and blessed to be able to, you know, get this done. So for hubs, we are expecting to be direct deposited into this joint household account, $24.56. And then for me, we are expecting a total of $21.90. Now, again, this is um, bonus month, plus our son, he will pay his cell phone bill. So once it is received, generally it's the end of July, but once it's received, then I'll put all of that information in the actual column. But for now, we're just gonna plan our budget off of the total, which is $46.46. And then as far as our giving, this is our tithes and offering. Now, this is gonna go up as well because the bonus, we don't know exactly how much the bonus is, but we are planning 1062. And this is off of our gross income. And as far as our expenses, of course, we have the mortgage. And that is at the 536. And we have Netflix at 1799. Now I'm going to go ahead and plug in the rest of these numbers and then I'll come back and do a recap with you guys. expenses have come in at 26 10 19 and we still have our savings and extra debt so we do have the uh, emergency fund we have our pets of course son's tuition and we have vacation but we're not going to put anything in the vacation at this time so let me get a sticky note so right now, what we are looking at our planned income, I can go ahead and plug that in at the 46, 46. Our planned giving is at the 1062. Our planned expenses are at 26, 10, 19. And let's see what we are working with thus far. So 46, 46 minus 1062 and minus 26, 10, 19. So we have $973.81. So of course, as you see, I did not list the buffer here. So the buffer and the vacation are the two things that are not listed thus far. Now we still will put um, extra towards the uh, tax debt. And we are planning 315, which is the same as our goal. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And I know that that should be taken care of and I'll plug it down here. And so we can subtract $315 from that. So we have a total of $658.81 that we are uh, working with. Now our pets, they will get their $50 as planned. So I'll subtract that off. And then that leaves us $608.81. The emergency fund automatically gets $50 at the end of the month. Um, but as you see, we have some change left over. So if I subtract 50, that leaves us 558.81. So in this instance, I can go ahead and I'll just put the 81 cents towards the emergency fund. So it'll be 50.81. And I may like round that up to like $51 or $52, but it won't be much because like I said, we're trying to make sure that son's tuition get as much money as possible for July and August. 
So that leaves us, we'll subtract out that 81 cents, that leaves us a total of $558, which is a nice amount because generally it only gets $150. But we are in the last semester, guys, so we are cash flowing our son's college education and it is a wonderful feeling, it really is. And we are just so proud of him. So this here um, is another sacrifice, but it is well worth it, guys, it really is. So $658.81 is planned for the savings funds at this time. So I can go ahead and plug it down here, which is $658.81. So this should give us a zero base budget. So 4646 minus 1062 minus 2610, 19 minus 658. 81 and minus the 315 that's a zero base budget all right so just looking at the overall expenses now for the groceries we normally allocate six hundred dollars but there's five saturdays in july guys so i went ahead and just added an extra hundred dollars as i've been doing in the past so we've got our monthly groceries at $700 for the month. So we are hoping that we do come in below budget on the groceries and really overall in our budget. That way we will continue to, you know, be able to put more towards our son's tuition. Like I said, the tuition bill is over $1,400. So whatever we can snack from the household account, guys, then that's less money that we have to come out from our personal account. So yeah, guys, this is what July is looking like. Plenty of changes going forward, but um, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. We are in the third quarter. This year has flown by. So guys, let me know down in the comment section, did you evaluate um, your journey after you know quarter two? And did you make any changes going forward? So let me know down below so we can have that conversation, guys. Please make sure you stay tuned. I still have plenty of videos to get out for you. I have the paycheck budget to get out. You definitely need a, a quarterly update on our savings challenge, which I'm excited about that. And I got to give you guys a quarterly update on our debt payoff. So please continue to stay tuned. But all right, I will see you later. Bye.